Hey guys, so if you're wondering why we're so up close and personal, it's because I'm doing the long-awaited makeup tutorial. I gave in. At the start, I said I would never do it because that's not what my channel is. And I'm here doing it. A sis loves to go back on her word. I don't know what we're doing today, but I'm also just like running short on products. I have, oh my God. Okay, so Black Friday is tomorrow and I've already spent so much money on black friday before black friday has even properly started i am so my bank account is weeping i am weeping we're all weeping my bank account is confessions of a shopaholic <laughs> we're gonna okay so i ordered so many things if you want to see like an updated tutorial with black friday sh because a sis got a lot of it then i can do that for today we're just doing a pre-black friday what i do thing so the ordinary high adherence silicone primer i don't know if this does at all but i'm gonna use it anyway <laughs> it's almost finished uh okay that was rude excuse me do a little rubberoo um pack pack i'm actually going uni today by the way guys all right this is gonna be a bonus video because i don't think okay my channel is a commentary channel so therefore a makeup tutorial isn't what did my eyebrow just do okay there we go so therefore makeup tutorials are not a part of the angelica channel you know so i think it would be quite unfair for me to substitute a video in a week for a video that isn't a part of my channel so i thought i'd make it a bonus video right so like even if it gets like 2.5 views sister who cares because i still posted two regular videos am i great kind of did i do that yes sis i did that i've also run out of concealer so that's just fun as you can see i am naturally um what you would refer to as pale as so i'm gonna use the hourglass vanish stick foundation in the shade porcelain when they released this they were like you only need like four dots per section of your face that's not me i don't do that i like a good you know full coverage system moment i don't recommend this because you're gonna fly through this but like here's the thing this foundation if you're in the uk sets you back a solid 42 pounds would i recommend it kind of am i saying save up for it no but if you've got 42 pounds laying around would i say go for it i mean go for it also right if you've got dry skin don't do it you're not gonna like it I'm telling you this now if you've got textured skin don't do it you're not gonna like it anyway how you guys been i'm just you know chilling we have had a really good video if you haven't realized it's the clapping back at superwoman and marcus butler video if you want to see it it will be in the description down below i don't know what we're gonna do today i don't know if we're gonna go for like a natural just you know mascara lipstick or if we're gonna do eyeshadow we'll see how much time we have so we're gonna uh dabby dabby do what was that i don't know <laughs> what see this is what i mean it just got stuck to like dry skin and then i just have to like crust it off you know and no one wants to crust off but it's fine blame it on my lizard skin i've got actually pretty combo skin so like i'm greasy on like my eyelids i know who's greasy on their eyelids me i'm greasy on like my t-zone and um you know just greasy but i'm also dry in places so like i can't forget to use scrubs on my face when i'm dealing with this foundation because the moment i forget i put it on the next day and i'm like lizard skin also i've been asking you guys to ask me questions on instagram if you want to take part in any polls or anything like that follow me on instagram and twitter and add me on snapchat if you want to kind of get down with my personal life and then you can take part in q a's and all sorts of fun stuff but a lot of you guys ask me like the typical stuff that i might have mentioned before but if you're new around here you probably won't know so i'm 18 i live in the uk london specifically so if you want to stalk me here i am i go to uni so i'm doing full-time uni YouTube as well as full-time education that makes me a double full-time which is fun and definitely not stressful at times I'm doing a law degree by the way and some of you guys were asking me for like the specifics of it I'm just doing a normal law LLB which is just like the the main like law degree like it's not specifically for criminal it's not specifically for civil it does kind of an all-around spectrum you get to do everything pretty much which is fun but also difficult and i actually did law a levels so like i should be flying through this but i'm so stressed out <laughs> but i'm planning on finishing it you know however i make why is there hair on my foundation it's not even my hair who been here oh not right now a lot of people are asking me what inspired me to start youtube i'm actually going just off the top of my head like memory because i record on my phone and all the questions are on my phone so i don't know if you guys know by the way before i get into kind of all that stuff i am cruelty free however i only started that recently so i've still got like a few non-cruelty 
cruelty free products that I'm going to get through because like I already bought them so like what do you want me to do? And throw it out the window. So actually I still do have the MAC Studio Fix powder which is a foundation powder which you can use on its own but I like to use it on top of foundation to like double up the coverage and cake face around here. <laughs> we love that. But what made me start YouTube? My channel is very um, opinion based I guess. It's just a lot of me talking. So basically I, um, you can ask my parents. I've been a, a, a big talker ever since I was a kid. Like I just go for it. I have an opinion on literally everything uh, which is annoying because then it just makes me argue with everyone. So yeah I started my channel because opinions you know. This foundation powder is definitely slightly too dark for me but what you gonna do? That's pretty much why I started my channel. I think it's just really fun and also like I still obviously edit all my videos myself, film them myself, I do everything myself. I'm not signed to like a network, I'm not signed to an agency, I don't have a manager. Just me, my room, my phone, my laptop and yeah I, I really like it. I feel like you know I don't like normal jobs. <laughs> I feel like a lot of YouTubers have that. I wouldn't mind being a lawyer right now. I mean of course that's kind of where my degree is going right but I I hate customer service. I hate retail jobs. I'm not good with people at all. You know people are like, the customer's always right. No bitch, I'm always right. I worked in a coffee shop before this. That's the job I quit for YouTube. I, mm, people are so annoying. So the coffee shop was a part of a different shop. I'm not gonna get into the details because then you could probably find it. So all the customers of that different thing got a complimentary drink, which means it's free. So now I understand if your standards are like 150% if you have to pay for something because that's your hard earned money even if it's literally three pound. I don't care. You worked hard for that money and you deserve the best for it. If you're getting a drink for free, you best not fucking complain. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know. It's a free coffee. Just drink it. Just drink it and get out my face. So I quit that and even my mom's like customer service isn't really your thing. I think you should just focus on YouTube. I was like yeah I think so too. I'm gonna use the hula bronzer by the way which also isn't cruelty free. Benefit what's up? Honestly I would expect you guys to be cruelty free and then I started doing my research and you're not cruelty free. What's up with that? I'm just asking for a friend. Um just do a little stampy motion. We're not gonna do some mad contour today. We're just gonna do do. We're just gonna do do some bronzing, and that's it. And obviously blush and highlight and all the rest of it. But we're not gonna contour today. We're not, you know, that high maintenance. <laughs> and yeah, so my mom was like, "Yeah, customer service is not your thing." Because I'd come home every day after work and just complain at all these dumb that came there first of all a lot of the time right so when you go to a coffee shop they'll have all the coffee names up at the top and you're supposed to know what you want before you come up to the person so you don't waste time on top of that we like in front of the coffee shop had like drawn on pictures of what each of the coffees is if you didn't know what it is by name you could kind of figure it out by picture so it would show you how much milk there is how much coffee there is what what is it right you'd expect people to look at it and be like i want a latte i want a mocha i want an americano like you'd expect them to just know just look at the picture and read the name that's under the picture it's really not and they would come up to me and be like i want coffee which one <laughs> they'd be like oh just regular coffee and i'm like see my regular is a latte someone else's regular is a espresso two different things let me know sis what you want and they'd be like oh you know just um milky and i'm like okay well that could be a flat white that could be a latte that could be a cappuccino that could be just an americano with milk what do you want and then they'll be like oh i just want a latte and then you make them a latte and they look at it as if it's got two heads and then i quit <laughs> so we're doing youtube now i hate how close my workplace is to my house and there's like a, a supermarket down the road that i go to when i need a snack with two C's and then sometimes if I go at the wrong time people are there because they're buying food for their lunch break from the workplace and I'm just like I don't want to see you I don't want to talk to you I don't want you to ask me what I'm doing because I'm gonna have to tell you I do YouTube and I don't want to tell you I do YouTube because I don't want you to look me up so then I'm gonna have to tell you that I do advertising okay I've said before that I do advertising I've said I do marketing I've said I do just online self-employed work and they think I do bitcoin I just don't want them to look me up I don't like telling people what I do because I feel like they know a lot more than they should about like your opinions without them actually having to ask you which is like if I have to see you on a regular basis I don't want you to be like oh by the way that video you made oh my god that was so fun like no don't <laughs> don't. My dad sometimes likes to, so if I upload a video, he's got my post notifications turned on. If you don't have my post notifications turned on, then you gotta learn from my dad because he does and that is a true stan. Him and my mom have like a competition, like who's got the quickest like and then my dad will sometimes just play the video in front of me and I'm like, I've been listening to myself talk 
for the last five hours while editing this video can you please not just save my ears it's so embarrassing when people play your videos in front of you because you're just like we're gonna put on some blush which is actually cruelty free because i'm a cruelty free baby it's milani luminoso 05 it is basically a dupe for nars orgasm and nars is like double the price and it's also not cruelty free because nars switched it up and started selling in china like what is up what is up sis do you want to fight so if you um don't mind a little bit of shine this is it you know and you can put it on lightly as you can see but i've been really feeling blush lately so i'm like, like sometimes i go a bit crazy with it so ignore that but yeah i start at the back because that's where i want most of my blush and then i just blend it forward because that's where i want like the least blush but you know you do it how you want to do it boo there's no right or wrong way to do it and i yeah i do put blush on my bronzer like on top of my bronzer so like because i think it just brings the whole face together there we go and a little bit on my nose. Every beauty guru's doing it, so I'm doing it too. Hi, Nikki Tutorials. I'm gonna put... Oh, I feel a bit sick today. So we're gonna go in with setting spray, which I'm also running out of. Uh, hear this, sis. How disappointing does that sound? I did order a new one. Don't worry. I'm not gonna be um, setting spray-less. And then we're gonna do just a little, little bit of highlight. You know, nothing crazy i like to focus my highlight in one spot i've seen a lot of beauty gurus just like go for it and like blow it out and i'm just like sis no we don't do that around here we put it in one area only becca vanilla quartz a little i don't know why i put it there but nikki tutorials does it so i do it too blend it out a little bit so it doesn't you know look crazy but like oh Ooh. I'm gonna do brows and then I'll be right back. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade medium brown and I'm also gonna top that off with a NYX eyebrow gel <laughs> control freak. <laughs> Relatable. Okay so those are my brows done. I think they're somewhat related maybe in the same family tree. Um, I wouldn't say maybe twins maybe like um stepsisters. I'm gonna use my favorite palette Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills and let's just go in with tempera all over. So now we're gonna go in with orange soda and just stamp that on there and blend out and that's kind of how i go about it just blend nothing can look horrible if you blend so then we're gonna go in with the morphe m433 we can go into burnt orange am i gonna do a halo though yeah i might do a little halo and then just blend in between cute and flick that out. I like to go back to the brush that I used with the transition shade and just blend the edges between all the colors. Are we gonna darken it up a little bit? Maybe. We're gonna go crazy and we're gonna go into rustic. Put that in there and kind of drag in and then flick that out and then drag that back in. We're not going crazy today, nothing wild, just a little bit of darkening it up. Now we're gonna do the lash line, take orange soda on like a little angled brush and go underneath the eye. Wonderful. Basically just repeat the colour story that you did on top, on the bottom. Let's take a little flat brush and go into burnt orange because that's what we did and then smoke that out on the bottom and then go into a much smaller flat kind of brush and then go into rustic because that was the last shade we put on and literally just stamp that like really close to the lash line don't blow that one out too much then i like to just go back into the bigger brush and blend 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 there we go okay let's just take a flat brush you can put on some fix plus or something if you want i'm gonna try it without and we're gonna go into bronze kind of start where you want the most of it to be and then try and blend it out sideways i like to go back in with bronze though just on my finger and stamp it in the middle <sighs> this, this looks fucking good and now go back into the flat brush take that and repeat on the bottom just right underneath where you did the gold on top so this is the look we have for our eyes today now we're just gonna do mascara we're not gonna do lashes i don't know i'm just feeling mascara so we're gonna put on soap and glory thick and fast in the gold tube okay we're gonna end this look off with lipstick and we're gonna take the highlight that we used on our face and just use it on the brow bone and we're gonna put that in the inner corner because we haven't done that yet now we're gonna just do lipstick i don't know what we're gonna go for maybe like a staunch by anastasia this is the makeup look 
it's very simple nothing crazy but this is kind of the look if you want this again we can make that happen but if you don't that's fine but you guys wanted just to see this so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below anything comment down below and subscribe because i post videos every wednesday and sunday but sometimes i'll post a bonus video like this time so if you want to see that turn on press notifications follow me on my socials they'll be on screen right now or in the description down below and i'll see you in my next one bye guys